welcome to your March 1st to 7th reading. Um, we're already in March, which is fucking crazy. Times of flying. I am very happy, though, that we are heading towards the end of winter. And my thing is, my really big thing is, is the sunlight. Because where I live, it gets dark really, really a lot in winter. So... Um, I'm excited for the longer days. Ooh, got a flyer card. Ooh, this feels good. Got a hair here I want to get rid of. It's driving me nuts. Come on. Oh. All right, Libra, let's see what's up. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Well, this is a mixed bag. <laughs> um, okay. Your flyer card. Your flyer card was the page of swords. So Sometimes a page of swords can really um, be an omen kind of, of unrest and sometimes even fighting, senseless fighting, depending on what he's next to. But he's kind of sitting there and I don't know. I'm feeling like this is the week you need to ask questions. So you need to be inquisitive. You almost need to be that annoying kid that's like, well, why? 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 Well, why is it like this? Why are you saying that? Super annoying, I know. But you are being um, guided to ask more questions and look into your situations a little more deeply. Um, let's talk love life for a second. I haven't seen this before even. I've got the Knight of Cups reversed, crossed with the Page of Cups. Both of these are, um, both of these are messengers of love. The Knight and the Page of Cups are both messengers of love. And the fact that the Knight of Cups is reversed, and then we've got the Page of Cups crossing that, you need to be very careful about who you trust in your love life, um, especially with that page of swords coming up. I think for a lot of you, you need to start asking some questions because shit ain't adding up. Now, if you're happily married, this message is not for you. Um I mean, if you're happily married, it wouldn't, if something your spouse is telling you isn't adding up, definitely look into it. I feel like this is really, um, this doesn't mean your fucking relationship or your marriage is going to fall apart though. Okay. So just saying, but you are being guided to ask some questions. And for those of you that are dating or are in new relationships or, um, what have you, you need to be really honest with yourself and you need to look at things very carefully. So have fun with that. <laughs> um, there's a lot of shit going on here. So we've got that. And then we've got, we've got this, fuck, this is a doozy. I'm not going to lie. We've got the seven of, um, swords who this guy's a shady fuck he's trying to steal these swords and run away then we've got the tower reversed which the tower i mean we've talked about it before there's people falling out of it it's on fire everything's just fucked and then we've got really close to that is the five of pentacles which is a very unstable card fuck you've got oh my god oh sorry <laughs> Sorry, Libra, we've also got two fives next to each other. And the fives are the most unstable card in the deck. So this is what I've got to say. Whatever part of your life that has been shaky or the foundation hasn't been solid, it could get fucked up this week. Um, and this isn't meant to scare you. When the tower comes up, um, 
Honestly, it's it's very rarely that when the tower comes up, you just get blindsided and it's like, where the fuck did this come from? Oh my God. Usually when the tower comes up, you get blindsided, but then when you really think about it, you're like, uh, I kind of saw that coming or it could be you've had some time to kind of deal with some shit and you haven't. Either way, it's the universe's way of being like, okay, I'm taking shit into my own hands and doing this for you, which is very uncomfortable. Um, but at the end of the day, the tower is crumbling old regimes to make room for new energy and new beginnings. And I, you're not going to see it that way. That's for fucking sure. But, um... It's like some of your shit is going to catch up with you this week if you're not careful. Another thing too is be very careful who you trust. Be careful what documents you're signing this week. Um, and this whole things blowing up shit, this could have to do with your relationship too. Again, this isn't going to be something that comes out of nowhere. It's 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 a pile of shit that's been brewing for a while so this isn't this isn't going to be a complete surprise it will feel like it at first but when you're honest with yourself it's not okay i'm gonna pull a few more cards here for you holy fuck um just a quick reminder i do a bonus reading now every week so you can catch that video too um i'll talk about some of the common trends that happened within the readings you might get some extra messages there um, also, it's March and I have a March love reading and a March career reading available. So if you want those, the links are in the description of this video. Let's see here. I'm feeling like this card needs to come out. Okay. So yeah, stressful week. I hate to say it, but... Um, and you're going to hate what I'm going to say next more. But there is a part of what is going to happen this week that is part of the plan and will bring you to better times. It's like, oh yeah, life lessons. Fuck you. I get it. Um, but like I said, there's some old energy that's got to go. The world card is coming up and the lovers, the empress, all really powerful cards. And it's kind of just letting you know the, the universe is complex and this might not make sense now, but it will in the future. Um, you are protected. You are loved. You are going to be okay. I know you're stressed and you feel like really fucked right now. But um, things are going to get better. And I feel like from now up until the summer, things are going to get better. And I know that's a bold statement. That is a very bold statement. But I really feel like what's going on right now had to happen. So again, if you're listening to this reading or watching this reading, this isn't meant to scare you. It's just so you can navigate through your week ahead properly and maximize your time and your energy and kind of have a heads up for when things do happen um and like i said ask questions ask questions and be inquisitive and kind of figure out what's really going on you i feel like you may have been trusting someone that you shouldn't have been trusting there's so many moving parts in all of this that it's kind of making my head spin. But again, you are going to be fine. You are protected. It's like all these fucking crazy cards like the fucking tower and the seven of uh, swords and then this shitty fucking five of pentacles. But then at the end, we've got the luckiest card in the deck, the nine of cups. And then we've also got the sun card, which is all about rejuvenation and new beginning so hang in there trust the process and you're gonna be a-okay libra so libra be good be safe ask questions and please 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 um comment below with your week i am really curious to know how things go um please like this video if you liked it and subscribe to my channel and i will see you next week so bye for now libra